Our next action item is a resolution in support of Black History Month. Can I get a motion on this, please? Kristen. I move that the board approve a resolution in support of Black History Month. We have a second from Nate. Would somebody like to read the resolution? Kristen will read this one. All right. Resolution of the Poudre School District Board of Education in support of Black History Month. Whereas Black History Month was first established by Carter G. Woodson in 1926 during the second week of February to encompass the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln on the 12th and Frederick Douglass on the 14th. Woodson's mission was to include African American history in the curriculum where it was misrepresented, neglected, or even absent. Due to his advocacy and scholarship, Black History Month became a national celebration in 1976. And, whereas, the 2023 national theme for the observance, as established by the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, is Black Resistance. The ASALH states, quote, Black resistance strategies have served as a model for every other social movement in the country. Thus, the legacy and importance of these actions cannot be understated. And, whereas, the black community faces cultural and systemic barriers to an inclusive and equitable education. Poudre School District and its community partners strive to close the equity and opportunity gaps for black students and promise to create and uphold equitable, inclusive, and rigorous educational opportunities, experiences, and outcomes. And, whereas, the Poudre School District Board of Education and Administration and staff are committed to making Poudre School District an equitable and inclusive community for students, families, and staff who identify as black, and we recognize that there is more work ahead of us. Diversity, equity, and inclusion are fundamental values in Poudre School District, and we are committed to ensuring that black students, families, and staff are valued, seen, and heard. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Poudre School District Board of Education does hereby proclaim the month of February 2023 as Black History Month in Poudre School District. We recognize the importance of Black History Month as an opportunity to reflect on our nation's complex history while remaining confident and hopeful about the future. The Board of Education encourages students, staff, and the community to celebrate the excellence and enriching contributions made from our black community of the past and present. Thank you very much, Kristen. Um, I believe we also have some folks here to talk to us about this. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm excited to introduce them to all of you. So joining us this evening to speak to Black History Month is Jason Powell, one of our incredible teachers and sponsor of Cultural Arms and Black Student Union from Rocky Mountain High School. I want to welcome Jason, and I believe you have three students that are joining you today, Olivia, Shaban, and Elijah. I want to say welcome to all of you as well. We're really glad that you're here. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> and I wanted to say that Elijah, come on, children. <laughs> Elijah is also starting a job at Eyestone Elementary tomorrow, so he will be a classified employee of Pooter School District. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, before our speakers go, I would just like to say thank you and acknowledge that this year's Black History theme, as Kristen mentioned, is Black Resistance. And often in education, resistance has negative connotations. I would like to shift that thinking and focus on all the ways Black Resistance has been positive and supportive of equity for all. My new black, favorite Black History Month quote is, Black history isn't separate history. This is all of our history, this American history and we need to understand that. It has such an impact on kids and their values and how they view black people. So sharing their experiences and thoughts on Black History Month are Jason Powell, Olivia, Siobhan, and Elijah. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jason Powell. And I get the pleasure of working at Rocky Mountain High School as the Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Specialist. I'm also a social studies teacher and a former soccer coach at Fort Collins High School. I stand in front of you today as a strong black educator. <clears throat> I wanna start off by saying thank you for amplifying our voices tonight. To me, the value of education for black Americans has been evident. When education was illegal for black Americans, they risked punishment. When education was separate but equal, they risked punishment. When education was integrated, they faced hardships. Our history, is, our history needs to be included so the students like the group next to me uh, will feel able to value that education like those, that be, that, those before them. 
Black history is American history, from early exploration to great migration to mobile refrigeration. Black history is American history from Minutemen in 54th, from Hellfighters and Red Tails to generals to presidencies. Black history is American history from slave hymns and bluegrass to jazz, rock, and hip hop. Black history is American history, yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. Some say one month. I say, wait, why not all year? So today, we commit, to, we commit to celebrating and uplifting black history in February. I would like to take it a step further. I would like us all to commit to include black history all year. Thank you again for amplifying our voice. We have the key to change behind us, right next to us actually. We must listen to those students. We want to find, we want them, we want to listen to them. We want to create change for them and we want to create a space of belonging for everyone. Thank you all. My name is Olivia Bird, and I am a current senior at Rocky Mountain High School. I'd also like to say that I'm incredibly appreciative for having the opportunity to speak to you all tonight. I am here today as a proud black student to talk to you about the importance of teaching black history and Black History Month, especially the black history which talks about the power of African American people and how they resisted and still resist inhumane treatment. The black history which is taught in schools only tells you about the enslaved African American in chains or the horrendously incorrect story of how the white man came to our aid to civilize us and show us how to be a proper person. Students, especially black students, need to hear about how African Americans fought back. How African Americans resisted the inhumane treatment from those who called themselves superior we need to hear about how our ancestors taught themselves to read or write, even if it meant risking their own lives. We need to hear, most importantly, about how we faced mobs of ignorant white men and women when all we simply wanted was an education like everyone else. We need to hear those stories, the ones that give us hope and strength, that no matter the challenge, will be okay and we can face it because the ones who came before us cleared the path. Black history is about strength, resistance, pride, and most of all, the impact of African Americans and how they affected the US, not just slavery. Everybody, can, can you, hi. Um, I'm Siobhan Mwanda, and I'm a senior at Rocky. Today I want to shed some light on the importance of Black History Month in a majority white school in town. During Black History Month, there isn't a lot of diversity in the stories and lessons taught in schools. There's barely any in the schools and community anyway. Being an outspoken black woman is isolating in the fact that 11 months out of the year, my history and culture are capitalized and exploited in the media, in school, and among my white peers. That one month isn't any different except how, except now everyone is telling me happy Black History Month and how they never noticed how beautiful my hair is. Black History Month is a reminder that our history is deeper than a 28-day celebration. It's the backbone of America and bigger than what is rarely taught in classrooms. I'm tired of learning about black history only in the negative. I'm tired of my white peers staring at me during social studies like, I'm have, like I was on the front lines of the Civil War and I'm having war flashbacks. I'm tired of white boys laughing in the corner of the room at the mention of the N-word. I'm tired of being the angry black woman because I corrected my teacher. I'm tired of having to educate my peers and educators. I'm tired of having to tell people, the adults in the room, what's wrong with the world and how to fix it why burning books enforces white supremacy, why when I walk down the hallway and see an SRO, I can feel the target on my back. These exhausting things are why Black History Month is important because it makes white people marinate in their racism and fake advocacy. And it reminds them that there wouldn't be a them without us. 
I want more for my peers, my teachers, my lessons, my school, and the district. I want to learn about how Garrett Morgan invented the traffic light, Erica Badu's African head wraps, and Cicely Tyson's acting career. I want to learn about black love, wealth, and happiness alongside everything we've overcome and are still fighting for. Because if I'm going to have to do my teacher's job for them, I expect to be financially compensated. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> For the record, I'm not being forced. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, my name is Elijah Wilson. I am a senior at Fort Collins High School, and I'm a proud black student to take my stand here on, let me take my time real quick, <laughs> on the learning of black history to the fullest and the importance of black history left not only within the district, but all of America. I would like to take the time to thank you all for the opportunity to speak here tonight. Over the 18 years, I've had the privilege of living in America. Over the last seven years, I've had the privilege of living in Colorado, and learning the amazing school district that is the Poudre School District. In this district, I've come to learn a lot of black history and Black History Month. Well, at least a good watered down version of it. I've come to learn that the direct acknowledgement of my, my people's struggle and accomplishment long forgotten were brought forth into the lights of the world. But truth be told, I learned more about Black History Month from my friends and my history from my family. But within this school district, I've learned nothing of the king and queens or the rich men. I've learned nothing of the men and women who learned to harness the wind or the history we built all within one race, split into an ethnicity, split into a culture, and split into a nation. I've learned nothing of all those achievements and everything of oppression and chains of women, sorry, and men forcing subjugation of women worked to the bone for merely nickels and dimes. Men that were tossed from field to field, factory to factory, and titles and names being stripped from the people. I'm saddened by the fact that I will never get the chance to grow up being, learning the pride of being a black student and a black male. But if we were to learn about it in school, and not just slavery, but self-made talents, artists, revolutionaries, the self-taught pride that I have learned would come years ago. And I would love for people to learn how to be unapologetically black. And I will learn, loved, and I only hope that black students, and not just black students, but all students of all races, colors, and backgrounds, would grow up and they'll see my, my, my race, <laughs> slow down, as my race as not just a growing struggle, but as a people who self-made themselves in a home of diversity and grace. Thank you. Are there remarks from the board? Kristen. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for speaking your truth and thank you for speaking the truth. That, that is, we still have a lot of work to do. We still have a lot of work to do um, in our history, in our social studies, in our English classes, in our art classes, in our theater classes, in our music classes. We still have so much work to do. So thank you for shining your light on that and um, please keep shining that light because if we are not um, taking what you have said here and doing something with it um, we need we need reminders to keep doing that um, and it's I not to put that on you but this is something that we have we have um, said that we would like to do we want to make sure that we are a much more inclusive um, school district and we want to make sure that we are held accountable for that. So thank you so much. Well spoken, Kristen. DJ. Thank you for being brave and standing up and speaking. Um, I so wish with you about sharing the beautiful history that is out there and the awesome things that have, have happened. And I actually, I want to give a... A shout out to Carter Woodson, who I didn't know what he brought to doing this. And so I, I took it upon myself to go and, and, and learn about him and about how he made this possible uh, that this is a celebrational month. And I think it's, it is a great testimony of it doesn't matter what color he was. 
uh, but that he saw a need and he went and he filled it. And I, and I appreciate you guys bringing that kind of stuff up and I hope that you continue it long after you're out of PSD and continue pushing because unfortunately, uh, society has moved way too slow for too long and we gotta keep pushing. So thank you. Thank you, DJ. Jess? I also want to say thank you for being brave because this is a room full of predominantly all white people and you spoke your truth just the same. <laughs> I hope that within my lifetime this month is not just a reminder of what we have yet to do, but it's a reminder of how far we've come and that's it that we'll be done with this work at some point in my lifetime. I know that my education was, what are the words, misrepresented, neglected, and even absent at times. And it sounds like yours has been as well. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry as an adult that we have not fixed this for you. But I promise you that we will continue to strive to do better. And when we don't, keep coming and talking to us and telling us how we're doing it wrong. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jess. Other remarks? Go ahead, Brian. First, I want to welcome and say thank you, Ms. Mahaney, Delia, for being a part of this very important resolution. I wasn't aware that you were speaking tonight and uh, honoring you as a part of this incredible school system. Uh, I'm really grateful for your presence here tonight. You know, earlier tonight, prior to this particular resolution, we heard a teacher talk about music and the arts and the power of those two things to help broaden our perspectives and challenge our assumptions. And what I think we're witnessing in real time is it's not just music and the arts that do those things. It's the voices of our students who are living the systems that they experience across our school district each and every day. Uh, whether it's Olivia, Shabon, or Elijah, I can't thank you enough for your voice, your bravery, your courage, your candor. Shabon, I heard you clearly when you said, I want more, or you deserve more. I want to say thank you to Elijah for talking about learning more about oppression than the brilliance of your community. We have work to do. These, can't, these asks and charges of us cannot fall on deaf ears. They must result in collective action of our team to build curricular experiences that you see yourself, that you experience joy and wisdom and brilliance, and not just for 28 days, but all year long. So I appreciate you challenging us respectfully, professionally. Uh, I'm eager to get to work. So thank you. Other remarks? No, I will add my thanks for your candid remarks to the board. I really appreciate that. It helps to educate us. It's sort of sad that we need to be educated in that way, but there's truth to that, and, and we appreciate you sharing that with us. Thank you. Jill, if you would call a, a vote on the uh, resolution. DJ Anderson. Aye. Jim Brokish. Aye. Nate Donovan. Aye. Kristen Draper. Aye. Rob Pedersen. Aye. Carolyn Reed. Aye. Jessica Zamora. Aye. Motion passes 7-0. Excellent. Thank you, Jill.